The admin menu is an essential tool to manage users, accounts, properties, and data streams. It's also where you manage the creation of advanced features such as custom dimensions and metrics, audiences, and more. Let's take a look at the admin section where you can manage your Google Analytics account and property settings. If you want employees or colleagues to access your reports and data, you can add or remove users in your account. On this screen, you can view who has access to your account and the level of permissions they have. Let's add a new user. Enter the user's email address and then choose which level of access the user should have. There's a brief description under each role. The administrator role provides full control of the account, including adding additional users. The creator of the account has administrator access by default. Let's say you grant access to an analyst on your team. You would choose the analyst as the role, which will allow the user to create and edit dashboards and reports. However, they will not be able to edit account and data settings or manage user permissions. Next, you can restrict business sensitive data like cost and revenue metrics. In this case, the analyst should be able to see this data, so you should leave these options unchecked and click Add. An administrator can always edit a user's access level or delete users at any time. Additionally, in admin, you can edit the account property and data stream settings. In data stream settings, you can do things like modify enhanced measurement settings and configure your main tag settings. There are additional data settings outside of the data stream where you can enable or disable various data collection features, including data retention. You can adjust the retention period for data collected that is associated with cookies, user identifiers, or advertising identifiers. This setting doesn't affect most standard reporting, which is based on aggregated data, but will affect the data used in more advanced tools like Explore. If at any point you want to delete a data stream, property, or even an entire account, you can do so in the admin menu. When you delete an account property or data stream, it will move into the trash can where it will be held for 35 days before being permanently deleted. You can see what's scheduled to be deleted in the trash can, and you can restore anything you've deleted before the 35-day window expires. You can view changes you or others have made to the account in the account change history. There are many more settings found in the admin menu. If you can't find what you're looking for, try using the search located at the top of the page. <music>